My name is Zach Page. I am head coach of Champs Gym. I run the Zach Attack Club. Uh, we have the little kids, little kids over here. <clears throat> I'm trying to get them off the streets. That's my that's that's my idea of this whole thing. Is try to get them off the streets. Do something productive. Well, you know, I I have older guys that come in. I have I do. UFC fighters, I do amateur fighters, I do professional fighters. I've had the I've had the pleasure and the blessing of being able to travel around the world to learn different different things and different techniques that I uh, portray. I don't want to say it. I have 68 professional fights. I've Traveled all over all over the world. Um, I've been to Asia, all over Germany, London, Denmark. Wow. Uh, my career didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Didn't jump off. I've been what a lot of what a lot of people consider Rob in a lot of my fights. Uh, didn't get the fair judge. Um, so, you know, I feel like well, maybe it's not for me to be world champ or maybe get one of these guys, you know, to, be, you know, to get out there and understand uh, what it's like to be out here truly in the boxing world. People always call me and say, hey, I want to be a boxer. But when I, they come to me and I don't play games, when they come to me, I show them what it's like. I show them the real deal about it. I don't kill them right off front, off front, but I let them know that it's real hard and it's real work. It's fun, I love it. I don't know what I would do without it, but it's hard, hard work. That I've, I've had the pleasure of getting ready for was uh, Kelly Papp. I, hel I helped him get ready for Jermaine Taylor and defend his title with Jermaine Taylor. I was in Austria. That's one of the places that I was in. It was in Austria. And I was, I had the very pleasure of being able to speak with and talk to the lady manager, Stuart. Uh, God rest his soul. Um, and the Klitschko's, who are the most gentlemen people I know. They're, they're so cool and down to earth. You really wouldn't think that. They're champions because they don't act like it. But they spar like it. <laughs> they really do. But I had I had a pleasure of being out there. Um, I helped Thomas Adamas get ready for a title fight. Ooh, my first man, my first champion that I sparred with was uh, from French. From France. Um, um, John Mock McCormick, he really, he was a real gentleman. We got real close, you know, he was real cool. Uh, that was hard work. That really let me know that if I want to do this, I'm going to have to get in shape. I'm going to have to be ready. And so that's what I've been doing my whole career. And what's some advice to the people? What do you look for in fighters? What do they need to have? First and foremost, heart. Um, you have to have, you have to have heart because in this square circle, this is not for everybody. People say, yeah, I want to do it, get in there and spar and be like, oh no, getting the head banged around. They, hey, we're, we're crazy. Us boxers, we're like, a little loose, loose. But, um, I, condition, um, uh, what word am I looking for? I like enthusiasm, wanting to learn, for lack of better words. Wanting to learn the game. If they want to come here and they want to learn the game, I will definitely show them the game, everything that I know. And then, like there's Leslie Parkley, who is a very a tremendous help. He helps me, especially with my beginners. He, if it wasn't for him and here, some of these beginners, would be like pro pro looking, but he he gets some he he sets up the standards 
of what needs to be done, and then he hands them over to me. And now you're also helping out the children here. Oh yeah. Champs Gym. Champs Gym. You know, like I said, I'm I'm at the Zach Attack Club, and I have the little kids. I start them off at seven, all the way up. I'm my oldest guy is 34. You know, and it's also a fitness. I have females that come here that want to just not want to box, but want to train like a boxer to get in shape. And it's a total fitness, it's total body, it's, it's everything. You know, it's like, I tell my, like I tell my students, you play football, you play basketball, but you don't play boxing. You know, because bo boxing, if you're not careful, can wind you on the other side. And you really don't want that. I've been blessed not to be, to be able to still be able to talk after 68 fights. And you could be able to understand me too. Yeah, well, I just want to get the kids off the street. That's my, my main thing. Get the kids off the street and be able to help people who wants to get in shape, get healthy, get shape. I mean, uh, some of them come and talk to me about what they should and, should and shouldn't eat. I help them out with that, you know, give them my best advice because sometimes I fight in two divisions. I fight in heavyweight and cruiserweight, so sometimes I got to eat and work hard, do different things to gain weight, and then I also got to eat and do different things to lose weight. So I kind of, I'm very healthy in what I do, and uh, I kind of help people out doing those things. Thank you, Zach Page. And now we leave Warren, Ohio, to view the fight scene in New York City. Two-time Olympic champion Vasil Lomonchenko will be moving up to 130 pounds, so he'll face current champion Rocky Martinez. On the undercard, we have Felix Verdejo, who will be facing Jose Martinez. This is Saturday, June 11th at the theater at Madison Square Garden, and it'll be broadcast live on HBO. El voleibol, y naturalmente, hace una pelea con un campeonato latino, pero también al mismo tiempo es una pelea que todo el mundo no piensa que usted tiene la habilidad, ni la posición, ni la fortaleza para ganárselo. ¿Qué usted cree de eso? Que la, la crítica es desconocido, usted quiere asombrar el mundo ese sábado, ¿qué es lo que va a hacer? Eh, como dice la, la crítica... Bienvenida, ¿no? Yo lo, único, yo lo único que voy a demostrar este sábado que voy a callar demasiadas bocas ya que vengo, no vengo a día de campo, vengo a hacer mi trabajo y mi trabajo es llevarme ese título a México y primeramente eso así lo vamos a hacer. Vamos a hacerle una noche difícil a Verdejo y primeramente Dios espero salir con la, con la mano en alto. No es la primera vez que me toca con todo en contra. He sido retador muchas veces, he ido a su casa varias veces y gracias a Dios siempre hemos salido victoriosos. Esta vez no creo que sea la excepción. José Martínez es muy, muy, muy confiado de que él va a venir aquí. Él siempre ha sido el otro dog en donde ha luchado. Y fighting Verdejo es no diferente, es solo un otro fighter. Voy a ir a su casa y he sido más victorioso en otros oponentes de casa que en mi propio. Uh, I am not a fighter that comes from a fighter's family. I'm the only one from my fighter's family, from my family that became a fighter. And they were very shocked and very disappointed, but they see my progress and they see how good I am and they now support me. Uh, I'm impressed. I love New York. I enjoy, this is my first time in New York. I enjoy New York. It's a very beautiful city and I hope to come back. I don't look past any other opponent. Uh, I'm not looking past Verdejo, but I hope one day to be one of the world's greatest uh, lightweights in the world. I want to win the world title in addition to the title that I'm going to take away from Verdejo. Uh, I'm not impressed nor intimidated by the fact that it's a Puerto Rican week and everybody's getting ready for the Puerto Rican Day Parade and most of the people in the audience are going to be supporting Verdejo because they're all Puerto Ricans, but the at the same time, I'm going to do my job. And uh, this Mexican-Puerto Rican rivalry means nothing to me. This is just two guys fighting for world for for world recognition. Other than that, you know, he's uh, he impressed me as a very agile, very smart, very astute person. He says he's not a knockout artist. Uh, he says he knockouts come to him. He boxes, he boxes, but he turns around and he's able to score knockouts. 
Other than that, the, the guy seems to be pretty confident that he's going to create or cause the biggest upset in Madison Square Garden uh, this come uh, what is it, the uh, Saturday, uh, uh, June 11th. Two-time Olympic champion Vasil Lomonchenko will be moving up to 130 pounds, so he'll face current champion Rocky Martinez. On the undercard, we have Felix Verdejo, who'll be facing Jose Martinez. This is Saturday, June 11th at the theater at Madison Square Garden, and it'll be broadcast live on HBO. Dos de días más, como te sientes, ya está preparado, todo listo. Estos simplemente son días de relajar un poco y revisar todo el plan. Sí, de verdad que sí, me siento muy bien. Gracias a Dios, estamos bien preparados para este próximo sábado. Este, aquel día del de el Bronx, ¿cómo, cómo tú sentiste que te, que, que, te, que te aceptaron la gente? La gente estaba encima de ti como, o ha vendido, como un rey. Bueno, algo bien, bien bonito, el verdad, las personas ya a llegar a mí, tirarse fotos, autógrafos, algo que, que, que nos gusta, nos gusta mucho. Martínez dice que él no está nervioso ni nada, es la primera vez que estoy en Nueva York, pero Félix es Félix y yo soy Martínez, así que y yo quiero la corona de él y no me siento eh, nervioso ni nada, voy a, a ganar. Nada, eh, este, cada cual va a hacer su trabajo, eh, esperemos que, que todo nos salga bien y poder salir airoso. Now, Félix has been very active over the last year or two, racking up a lot of fights. He's closing right into title contention. Does he feel like this year, 2016, is he ready for the title fight? Or maybe 2017? Eh, vamos a ver, eh, todo depende de cómo yo luzca esta pelea, de cómo eh, esté el sábado 11 de junio, cómo pelee, y ahí sabremos si estamos preparados o no para un título mundial. Well, we'll see, it depends on naturally how I perform Saturday and I, and I expect to win, but and then we'll see whether I'm ready for a title fight this year, 2016, or a title fight uh, 2017, because we still have some way to go. Now, last question. Now, some people, some people have been saying, well, Verdeo has been knocking everybody out like he's supposed to, but he keeps on winning. Is that kind of stuff important to him, or is just winning important to him? La crítica aquí es que Bori Bori Verdejo ha ganado todas sus peleas y sigue noqueando a todo el mundo. Eh, ¿Esa crítica lo molesta o, eh, o no lo importa porque eso es parte de su carrera siendo boxeador? No, es parte de, de un boxeador. La pelea se puede acabar por nocaut en primero como puede durar todos los rounds. Eh, nada, nosotros simplemente no, nos preparamos para hacer una buena pelea y, y pues, para salir a ganar. He said, no, it doesn't bother him. I mean, he goes out there to do, to do his job, whether it's a knockout, whether it's a decision, it doesn't matter. The, the thing is to win and continue winning and be at the platform for a world title fight. Other than that, you know, it, it doesn't bother me. The critics don't bother me. He was told as about the critics. He always wins. He's always knocking out people. He's always on the, you know, on the winning side. Does it bother him that people criticize him? because of the fact that he's winning, maybe they were implied that they were easier fights than they should be, you know, and the fact of the matter is that, does he feel, you know, concerned about the critics? He says, no, I just go out there to do my job. If, I, if a knockout comes, it comes. If a knockout doesn't come, I don't care. It doesn't really bother me. Now, in terms of uh, the championship fight, do you think after this victory Saturday, would he be looking for a world title fight this year, 2016, and or maybe 2017, depending on his performance? He said, it does, I, take one, I take one fight at a time. Whatever happens, happens. If it happens to this year, great. If it doesn't happen this year, maybe next year, that's okay. I'm not in a hurry to push for a title fight, even though, yes, I am looking for a title fight, a world title fight. Two-time Olympic champion Vasil Lomonchenko will be moving up to 130 pounds, so he'll face current champion Rocky Martinez. On the undercard, we have Felix Verdejo, who will be facing Jose Martinez. This is Saturday, June 11th at the theater at Madison Square Garden, and it will be broadcast live on HBO.
¿Es la primera vez aquí en Nueva York o esta, esta no es la primera vez? Eh, no, es mi segunda vez. Estaba aquí para cuando empaté con Juan Carlos Burgos. Oh, Juan Carlos Burgos, sí, 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 sí. ¿Cómo tú te sientes ahora preparándote? Tú mismo sabes que el ruso y Ucrania está hablando mucha baba, que, que te va a ganar, que esto lo otro, que él es olim, olimpiado, todo eso lo otro, que, que, que tú tienes una oportunidad de ganarlo. No, eso es lo que dicen todo el mundo, lo mismo decían con salida la primera vez y, y le gané, o sea que es cuestión, yo, yo hice mi trabajo hoy en Puerto Rico y vengo pues a defender mi título. Ustedes, preparan, se, ustedes se preparan con un plan 1 o un plan B, de todo, todo, todo tiene que salir coordinado en plan 1, pero si no trabaja, ustedes siempre tienen plan B. Sí, no, plan A, B y C, si no sale el A, sale el B, si no sale el B, sale el C, si sí, sí, trabajamos para todo. ¿Cómo tú, cómo tú te sientes este, peleando? Eh, defendiendo tu título porque te acuerdas que la semana pasada el salido que te dio mucho dolor de cabeza este, le llamaron empate ¿cómo tú se siente comparado esa pelea con este? es totalmente dos peleas diferentes ¿no? este, salido y Vargas son dos peleadores que fueron a matarse pues aquí pues yo vengo a defender mi título a, a, yo a querer y, y sé que va a ser lo que va a venir es a, a moverse, a buscar dar la pelea de la vocial ese, ese, ese hace de un zurdo rápido que puede brinquir, saltar, cambiar, todo eso. ¿Eso, eso es para confundirte a ti o, o qué? Este... No, él tiene su estilo, tiene su estrategia, pero como dije, yo hice, yo hice un, buen, un buen equipo de, de trabajo con cuanto con José Pedraza, con un tipo avispado también igual que él, y estamos listos, estamos listos para, para retener el título. Así que, así que tú ya, en esta semana, hoy es el 8, eh, siempre va a mantenerte listo, descansar, planificar, mantener en mente todo lo que planificaron para la victoria. Sí, no, eso es lo mismo, este, recapa, 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 pitular todo lo que he hecho durante todo el entrenamiento y para, para aplicarlo el día de la pelea. ¿Y cómo se siente que esta es la misma del, del desfile y muchos más puertorriqueños van a estar aquí que, que otros se van? No, contento, contento, en verdad, un orgullo para mí poder estar aquí y defender mi título otra vez. ¿Y después el domingo va a desfilar la, la parada? Si Dios quiere y estamos aquí, desfilamos también. Gracias, amigo. Toda la suerte. Y Dios te bendiga. Gracias, gracias. He indicated confidence. He's not afraid of anything. Uh, whatever Lomachenko has to say, whatever his gold medals are in the Olympics, whatever record he has, doesn't mean anything. I'm defending my title. I'm the champ. And I'll be victorious Saturday. Uh, there is a contingency of it's uh, eve of the Puerto Rican Day Parade. And, most, and I know most Puerto Ricans will be there. A lot of people cheering me on. But it's still a fight, and I have to win it. I don't care what he says. I don't care how big he is or how fast he is. He's a southpaw, but still, you know, I'm prepared to win. There is always, when we go to training camp, there is also always a uh, plan A and a plan B and plan C. But whatever it is we got to do, we got to utilize all the plans to make sure that we that we win this uh, this fight Saturday. And uh, I'm, I'm not concerned about what he has to say. I'm I'm, I'm going to be ready for him.
Two-time Olympic champion Vasil Lomonchenko will be moving up to 130 pounds, so he'll face current champion Rocky Martinez. On the undercard, we have Felix Verdejo, who will be facing Jose Martinez. This is Saturday, June 11th at the Theater at Madison Square Garden, and it'll be broadcast live on HBO. Rocky is, is like two pounds, we, we, we saw, under, over the weight, so he's on road, on, the, on road to make the weight without a problem. Does that take a, a, a weight of his mind, knowing that you know he's not going to have to face? We today saw him. He weighed Rocky. He weighed about 132 pounds. So he did 100% of the weight. It's now for you to take a weight off your mind, 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 Thank you for seeing me. Welcome to New York. Thank you. And uh, you translate or do you go okay? Do you need yeah, any translation. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rocky Martinez says uh, he's not going to take his title from him, right? And he has to be better than him. He's going to have to step up to the plate to beat him and take away his title. Uh, he's a 130-pound champ, and that's exactly how he's going to stay. Рокки Мартина сказал, что он тебе ни в коем случае не даст тайтл. Ты должен как бы встать в ринг и забирать у него этот тайтл. Для этого я здесь. That's why I'm here. You uh, at one time in the Olympics you fought Verdejo. Do you think in the future uh, that might be you guys might clash because you're going up in weight? Один раз на Олимпиаде ты боксировал Вердехо. Если он подойдет к твоей весовой категории в профессионалах, ты думаешь, что ты будешь его боксировать? Я думаю, что скорее я подойду к его весовой, а не он подойдет к моей. Потому что он, он крупнее, он больше, он боксирует на вес больше, поэтому уже буду я подходить. I think most likely I am the one who is going to be stepping to his weight class, because he's a bigger, he's a, he's a bigger guy, he weights more. So I think I am the one who is going to be coming to his weight class, not him coming to my weight class. You are coming into New York for the first time. Are there any nervous? Is there any nervousness, any jitters because you're in Madison Square Garden and on the eve of the Puerto Rican Day Parade? Первый раз боксируешь в Нью-Йорке, первый раз находишься, ну как бы приехал боксировать в Нью-Йорке, бой в Мэдисон Сквер Гардене. Как-то для тебя это стрёмно, ты как бы нервничаешь в чём-то где? Вы знаете, ринг везде одинаковый, четыре угла, канаты. На стил ринга. Единственное, что отличает разные места друг от друга, это цвета ринга и все. Uh, it really doesn't matter to me. Everything, everything is the same. The ring has a four corners, has a has a ropes, and uh, only one thing. What is time to time, you can see a different color of a canvas. Everything, everything is still the same. Your training, your training cap has been good. Uh, you have, uh, naturally, when you train in camp, you come up with a plan A, but you also must have a plan B when you go into the ring when plan A doesn't work. Have you thought about that? Наверняка у тебя есть какой-то план А, и если у тебя не получается план А, ты переходишь в план Б. Ты уже об этом как-то думал? В ринге. Ну, в принципе, в ринге у тебя как выходишь в ринг, у тебя есть план А, а потом план Б. Да, естественно, конечно, у меня есть стратегия. Конечно, у меня есть стратегия на бой. Я думаю, что это все будет по ходу боя. Yes, of course, I have a strategy. I have every time for the every bout I have a strategy, but I think I'm going to be using that during the bout. Это у меня сразу мысль в голове. Это как Тайсон говорил: все имеют план на бой со мной после первого пропущенного удара, все его забывают. Just like I said, Tyson once, everybody has a plan coming into the ring, but after they after I land my punch, the, the plan is going to to you know. To, to the drown. So uh, these last few days you just gotta coast, loosen up, uh, strategize, remember what you planned in, the, in camp and then put it to effect uh, Saturday. Вот эти несколько последних дней до боя, что это просто как бы отдыхаешь, подходишь к весу или ты еще тренируешься? Нет, я уже не тренируюсь. Все, что я делаю, это я жду, настраиваюсь и И все, и вот я отвечаю на вопросы журналистов. All I do, I already done my training. All I do is just like uh, getting, getting, you know, a little bit loosen up and uh, go.
going to the, you know, preparing for the fight and answering your questions to reporters. We gotta go to the okay. Thank you. God bless you. And now the results. On the undercard, Felix Verdejo stays unbeaten by stopping Juan Jose Martinez with a fifth round TKO victory. And in the main event, Vasil Lomachenko knocks out Roman Rocky Martinez in the fifth round to win the WBO Super Featherweight title, becoming a two-division world champion in his seventh pro fight. And that's all the time we have for this show. I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Mendez Gym here in New York City. Hope you've enjoyed the show and thanks for watching and we'll see you at the fights.